beautiful Mandalay Bay Resort in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Sean Ray, 13-time Mr. Olympia competitor. Mr. Olympia is the ultimate title for the ultimate bodybuilder. Of the thousands of athletes working their way up the ranks in bodybuilding each year, very few make it this far. This year, 21 international champions vie for the Mr. Olympia title and the grand prize of over $350,000. We're talking high-stakes competition here. Remember, bodybuilding is more than just hard work and gritty determination. Bodybuilding is a science with a strict regime of diet, nutrition, supplementation, and exercise. It's about body size, symmetry, and muscle definition, but it's also about choreography and downright showmanship. Cheered on by a crowd of 7,000 excited fans, these guys will perform. It's the biggest bodybuilding event in the world, and I can assure you the audience will get their money's worth. When these titans enter center stage here at the Mandalay Bay, it's because they stuck with it for years. These guys are tough. They're the best in the world. Let's look at a few basic concepts about how these athletes are judged. There are four rounds in this competition, each focusing on specific aspects of the athlete's physique. In round one, the judges look at the overall symmetry of the body. While the athletes make various quarter turns on stage, this is called the symmetry round. In round two, it's the muscularity round. Here, each competitor goes through the mandatory routine of seven poses. There is no room for individual style in this round. Round three consists of the individual posing routine. This is where the athletes can design their own routine to their own music. We often see a lot of showmanship in this routine round. And finally, round four. This is the pose down. This is where the top six athletes come together so the judges can take one final look at their comparisons together. Here's the current standings coming out of the first two rounds of competition. Of course, just like in golf, the lower the score, the better. While three-time Mr. Olympia Ronnie Coleman has firmly earned his place in the annals of Olympia champions, he is up against a fierce competition this year. Jay Cutler has kept a low profile until now. But to everyone's surprise, he's ahead of Ronnie Coleman in the preliminary round. And our first competitor of the evening in the Mandalay Bay, a record crowd of over 7,000 people, and the three-time defending world champion, Ronnie Coleman. Every year, I try to do something different because I don't want to be the same year after year after year. Last year, I was big and not as uh, cut and defined. This year, I'm probably going to be big and I'll be a whole lot more defined. And my symmetry is a whole lot better because I was able to shave three inches off my waist. Weighing in at 264 pounds, going for title number four in a row. Ronnie Coleman knows right now at this moment in the competition, he is trailing by six points to Jay Cutler. I might add that no mis for this moment in time, and we are now down to 10 the of the best bodybuilders on the planet Earth. Earth. Not in the city, Dan not in the Essential. state, not in the country. Luke These are the top 10 physiques around M. the world. Gold it boils gold down to this, and here we go with the announcement. Two, the 10th place finisher, King Kamali. And it's King Kamali in his first Mr. Olympia coming in at 10th place, which automatically qualifies him for next year's Mr. Olympia. Happy to be there, trying to quiet down the boos. It's expected that every placement will get booed because everybody has their own legion of fans. But King Kamali being very gentlemanly-like, thanking the crowd, thanking the judges, and taking his 10th place in stride. The ninth place finisher, Nasser El Sambati. A big disappointment for Nasser El Sambati out of San Diego, taking his ninth place like a true gentleman that he is. But he's certainly, certainly unhappy about his finish here tonight. Jackson. And coming in at eighth place, Dexter Jackson, the blade at 225 pounds. He's got to be happy with that. Qualifies for next year's Mr. Olympia. Can't be nothing but happy by at least maintaining a level of excellence here tonight. And presented to the seventh place finisher, Dennis James. And all the way from Thailand, Dennis James moving up into the top ten spot. Dennis James, a future force to be reckoned with in the top six in the Mr. Olympia competition, just barely missing by one place. 
Then with one deep breath, the bodybuilders gather themselves for the pose down. Ronnie Coleman, Mr. Olympia taking center stage. If nothing else, this is what every athlete lifting weights around the world that competes lives for. It may look a little anticlimactic right now, but pretty soon somebody's going to have to break out of the pack. Ronnie Coleman knows he's trailing by six points going into this pose down. Jay Cutler, who's in second, wants to win this contest. He's going to have to fire out of the chute. Most of the guys, all of their energy is spent. Orville Burke trying to get in the middle there. He's never been in this situation, never been on the Olympia stage. Chris isn't going to give. Ronnie's not going to give. These are 265-pound monsters trying to push each other around. The guys that have the advantage here are the veterans. Kevin Lavrone is always taking his time at whatever poses he's going to do. Jay Cutler finds himself in a very unfamiliar position, standing next to Ronnie Coleman, trying to go pose for pose. And then again, the stage really isn't big enough for these six athletes. Somebody's going to have to make the move and break out of the pack to separate themselves from the masses. An individual pose down with Chris and Jay Cutler taking place. I'm staying put. I'm going to stand right next to Ronnie Coleman and try to go pose to pose. Apples and oranges is what he calls himself and myself. But I got to stand in there and hold my ground. Oh, Ronnie Coleman jumps off the stage and goes into the crowd, and he's followed by Chris Cormier. But it looks like all the athletes are now going down into the audience. They, I, this has never happened at a Mr. Olympia contest in its 36-year history. Right now, with Ronnie Coleman out there leading the charge, all the athletes are eventually going to have to go out there and follow him. He's the champ. This is something the fans did not bargain for. They didn't know this was going to happen. Unscripted, uh, and certainly appreciative, as Ronnie Coleman actually touches one of the fans in the audience, something that's never been done before. We're in a pose down, and no bodybuilders are on the stage. Kevin Lavroni's up in the rafters. The athletes are just right on top of him right now, taking pictures and smiling. He's begging for more. Uh-oh, who's that? <laughs> Shy and reserved. I've never been off the stage in my life, so I guess once Ronnie Coleman and Chris Cormier decide I had to do it, uh, and it actually feels pretty good to be out there close to the fans that fly in from all over the world, from Japan and Germany. How's that? In your face. <laughs> that was for Chris Cormier. And this is definitely a plus for the sport of bodybuilding, for the fans to get this close to the action. Jay Cutler's actually signaling out fans to uh, direct their cameras towards him. And there's Chris Cormier showing his appreciation. Cameras all over the place. When physical TV comes back, we'll have more on the classic competition. This is the moment that the athletes have worked so hard for. Presented to the sixth place finisher, Orville Burke. And Orval Burke comes in in sixth place after getting tenth place last year. He finds himself in an unfamiliar situation as one of the top six bodybuilders in the world. And here's Orval Burke for the first time in sixth place out of New York as one of the premier bodybuilders in the world of bodybuilding. Presented to the fifth place finisher, Chris Cormier. And the real deal out of Venice Beach, California, pulls in the fifth place spot in $30,000 being presented to him by Kerry Kays of uh, Dorian Yates Approved Nutrition. And there's big Paul Dillette, also a fellow professional bodybuilder. Chris Cromier has nothing to be ashamed of. Pro Ironman champion, second in the Arnold Classic, Australian champion, Chris Cromier, fifth place, $30,000 richer after a one-year sabbatical from the Mr. Olympia. To the fourth place finisher, Sean Ray. In fourth place, a repeat of last year's Mr. Olympia. Me, Sean Ray, $35,000 for the effort, being awarded by Jeff Everson, former editor of Muscle and Fitness. 
fourth place, and I am definitely happy about that for a, a repeat performance of last year. And now there can be only three. Kevin Lavroni finds himself in a familiar position. Ronnie Coleman's been there before, and Jay Cutler. Of Universal Supplements. Out of nowhere, Jeff comes Long into the top three after placing eighth place David one year ago B and not even in the top ten two years ago. Of Muscle Tech. Kevin and Kevin Lavroni in third place, $40,000 richer. Looks pretty happy with his placement here. A lot of noise was made at the press conference, but certainly a happy camper here tonight. The third best bodybuilder on the planet in the year 2001. Kevin Lavroni, the Maryland Muscle Machine. We'll be right back with the winner. And now we come to the payoff. Ronnie Coleman has to be a little bit nervous, even though he looks confident. And Jay Cutler, hoping that it is his name as the last one standing as the awards are about to be presented. There's $50,000 difference between first place and second place. In the moment of truth, Ronnie Coleman, four-time Mr. Olympia. Jay Cutler, first-time runner-up and $60,000 richer. As Ronnie Coleman, known for his trademark dropping to his knees for the fourth consecutive year, Jay Cutler receives a silver medallion, the $60,000 uh, prize money, Jay Cutler. Admirable, gallant fight all the way to the finish. For the fourth year in a row, the policeman out of Arlington, Texas, Ronnie Coleman. As Jay Cutler has to wonder what he has to do to upset the champion. And for Physical TV here at Fox Sports Net, I'm Sean Ray. Thanks for joining us. You've been watching Physical TV's coverage of the 2001 Mr. Olympia from the Mandalay Bay Resort in Las Vegas on Fox Sports.